So tell us what B612 is all about. What are you guys' mission? Well, the B612 Foundations, our goal is to fly the first private deep space mission to map the locations and trajectories of the asteroids in the inner solar system. And why is it important that you do this? Because as we move outwards into the solar system, we need a map. We need a map of the locations of the other, uh, the other citizens of our orbit, uh, of which there are many. There are about a million asteroids larger than the one that hit Tunguska, whose orbits approach the Earth. And we want to know where those asteroids are, where they are going, when any of those comes near the Earth, when any of them comes nearby that's close enough to make it accessible, and if any of them happens to be on a collision course with Earth. And once you guys do this mission, what, how will the information be able to be spread? Will it be op openly available to everyone, or will it only be used for NASA or, or some other organization who might go to protect the Earth from some of these incoming asteroids? Well, the, the information will be public. Uh, so our, our plan is to, is to put the information in through NASA's pipeline, uh, which is run by the Minor Planet Center, and uh, that information is public. Uh, to tell me a little bit about the spacecraft you guys are using. You're going to be using the Sentinel spacecraft. How did the, that development come about? We're building uh, the Sentinel Space Telescope, which is an infrared space telescope, and it is going to do all-sky survey, uh, repeated all-sky surveys in the infrared, looking for objects that move. Those are asteroids. And it will do it from a vantage point uh, from orbiting the sun. So the Sentinel telescope will actually be orbiting around the sun faster than the Earth because it'll be in an orbit very similar to the orbit that Venus takes around the sun. And from there, we'll be able to always look away from the sun and be able to see Earth's orbit at all times. And that's what it will allow it to uh, effectively uh, make this map. Now, uh, those familiar with different satellites and especially space telescopes uh, may notice that the Sentinel is uh, very reminiscent of the Kepler spacecraft. Is that specifically for a certain reason? Why is that? Yeah, the, it, it is in fact based upon a combination of the Kepler space telescope and the Spitzer infrared space telescope. Our prime contractor is Ball Aerospace, and they, they built both of those spacecraft. In fact, um, that the commonality and design uh, is something that will allow us to have much uh, uh, to bring the bring the price down and to bring uh, our our reliability up because we we know how these operate. Has Ball Aerospace already beginning uh, to develop hardware for the Sentinel? And if so, when may there possibly be the launch? We are looking at a 2017 launch for Sentinel, and we have begun work already on. At this stage, it's too early in the in the development stage of any spacecraft to be building hardware. At this point, what you're doing is engineering work on uh, subsystems, and uh, that's where we are right now. Now, can you tell us a little bit about how the organization got started? Yeah, the B612 Foundation started out about 10 years ago looking at the physics and technology needed to deflect asteroids with the understanding that somebody would, would make a map of the locations and trajectories of all the asteroids that could be threats. Uh, when we, uh, over, the year, well, over the years, we have realized that it is in fact possible to deflect asteroids, um, and as long as you have decades of notice. But there had been very little progress uh, on finding the vast majority of asteroids that are out there. Um, we have made very good progress in finding the very largest of those asteroids, those larger than a kilometer, but below that, we have not done anywhere as near as well. And so about a year ago, we made the decision that it was time to really work on the first part of the problem, which is to find the asteroids. Because if you don't know where an asteroid is, there's nothing you can do to either take advantage of it or to protect yourself from it if needed. 